Hi, today we're going to look at this Einstein's lock puzzle. I um, bought this at the local bookstore. It's got a pretty nice uh, box. Um, and uh, there's a lot of uh, kind of like silver embossing. Pretty nice box. So this is the lock puzzle. It's called Einstein's Freedom Lock Puzzle. What's this? Einstein was an international pacifist and a Jewish intellectual in the most dangerous of eras. Yet he managed to complete his life and his incredible work without ever being incarcerated. That's pretty cool. This is embossed as well. Yep, and just some history about Albert Einstein. This has a level rating of 2. And you can actually find the solution at Professor Puzzle. And suitable for 8 years and over. So let's have a look at this box here. Oh yeah, there's this little kind of sneak peek. Uh part where you can actually see the puzzle itself. Who do you think you are? Einstein? But it's a pretty neat box. I like its presentation. So you can just pop out the puzzle from the side like so. Uh, I opened this already and I solved it but um. Yeah, so I'll go through uh, the quality um, and stuff like that. And then I'll do a solution at the end of this video. Yeah, so not much to the box. There's this kind of gold kind of wrapping and it fits in here. Uh, there was a little holder for the key. So this key is made out of die cast metal. Um, not much. Actually, let me move this box aside. So this key is made out of a uh, die cast metal, has some kind of bronze finish over it. The key lock part has two indents. Not sure what the reason behind that is. Let's see if I can. So there's two indents there. And it has this kind of style there. This is just a bit of string. And it's tied onto the lock itself. So the front face of this um, lock puzzle, it's all plastic. I think there's plastic resin, it's kind of soft. Four Phillips head screwdrivers. And then everything else is made out of wood. This is all made out of wood. Um, this is actually not on the glass, or sorry, this is not on the plastic, but it's on the uh, wood. Does that focus? Yeah, it focuses now. The back of it has the, you know, the trademark logo, registered trademark. Not sure what kind of wood this is, but yeah, it's probably a veneer cap. Look, it's layered. You can see what one, two, three, four, five, five layers of wood. And then there's these pieces. So there's uh, two squares with holes in them, a black rectangle, and then these kind of L shapes. And whoops, it's supposed to be like this originally, so you can't unlock it. Um, for the price, paid 13 euros for it. So maybe what, $15, $16, and maybe 10 or 11 pounds. Um, so it is expensive for a bit of plastic and wood. Um, yeah, the color is nice. Um, the, it's painted finished. This is varnished here. This is painted. Um, it looks like the pieces inside here are varnished. And that's it really. Oh, it has this E here, uh, you know, cut into the plastic to represent Einstein. And that is it. Screws are gold. 
Um, all right, let's get to the solution to the puzzle. Okay, so, oh yeah, you can stop the video if you want to um, figure it out yourself. And, and look back at this later. So initially I was kind of, I thought I needed to use the key, but there's nothing, uh, you know, where you can actually put the key into. So I presume just unlock this lock to escape the key. But one uh, thing that I found, uh, you could actually manipulate the blocks using the key. So the way to do this is to move these small blocks uh, to the end so it exposes um, these two. See right now it's locked so we can actually unlock it. So what I do is you can, yeah, I put them, so what, I should explain what I did there. So I push this up, let it, the black rectangle fall, push the uh, light brown up. So what this does is it gives space so I can unlock it halfway, like so. This will drop. So what I do is uh, there's space here, so I'll replace it into that slot there. Push the black rectangle down. This grayish type uh, square with the hole in it needs to go up, so I can push that down. Whoops, screw that up. And then this goes up, so this goes back down. And then... like so. So I kind of forgot how that worked, but I needed to push. So I stuck here, I stuck here, and I was wondering, hmm, I need to remove this somehow. So I dropped that gray one down the slot, move the uh, brown one to the left. Oh, I think I scratched it there. And then this gray one will pop up and then it will allow this section to slide out. And then you can take the key out. And that is the uh, lock puzzle. To put it back together to its original state, you need to push this back in, drop that uh, gray L block, push back the uh, brown block to the right, push the, um, yeah, like a lot of it just falls into place kind of bummed as I scratched this. Uh, once this uh, gray block goes uh, up, you can push it all to the left, drop the uh, wooden block down, um, this black rectangle to the left, this pops up, this drops down so you can allow the rectangle to go through, then um, this goes back up and to the right, and this goes back up, then you do the same thing, you drop this, so the black rectangle gives enough space for it to go back into its original spot. So this creates the two full squares, and this is back to its original state. And that's it, the lock puzzle. Um, it's a cool gift idea, it's a bit expensive, but um, yeah, I'd love to get a few more of these and play around with them. And that is Einstein's lock puzzle. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.